quote from, it just makes me want to see the movie right now. And I want you to tell me everything about it because when reading, just as things start to look promising, the night is stopped short by a surprising revelation. So now I'm like, okay, I have to see this because, you know, it could be anything. Are, are they brother and sister or is it, Wait, I, I, what will I, you tell me? I do not want to give it away. But it's exactly what, like what the crow says. Just when you think they're <laughs> maybe falling in love, fate and destiny pulls them apart. That's all I will say. Now, this is all based in Hong Kong, yeah. all filmed in Hong Kong. Have you been there? Yeah, I lived in Hong Kong as an expat for five years. So that's why before I even wrote the story, I knew I wanted to set the story in Hong Kong. So it started out with the location before anything else. So were you writing it in Hong Kong or you were writing it here and thinking about your time there? I think I wrote most of the story uh, here, but thinking back on my time over there. And the whole movie was actually inspired by a real life encounter I had with a certain someone. <laughs> Are you married to the certain someone now? That would ruin the ending for you, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a true life story. So Emily, what more would you like to tell us about the movie? Well, um, I just want to say that this is my love letter to Hong Kong and also to love. And, uh, you know, I think it's a very enjoyable date movie and I just hope people go check it out and, and take a date and enjoy it. And also go home afterwards and look up prices to fly to Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> is there such a genre as Hong Kong rom-com? Wow, that's very good. <laughs> I think we might be the first English language Hong Kong rom-com. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Emily, for coming to the Twin Cities Film Fest. And everybody go see It's Already Tomorrow in Hong Kong.